Peace be with you, dear friends. Some of my friends ask me very often how to read Bible and how to memorize the Word of God as you do. You know, after uh, conducting one day retreat or three day retreat or five day retreats, when people come and meet me personally, they ask, what is the way to memorize the Word of God? And some people WhatsApp as well as they uh, put inbox messages in Facebook also asking, what is the way to memorize the Word of God? And I thought of sharing how I read Bible after my conversion till date, how I used to read Bible. I think if it can give a small light in your life too. You know, when I go to bed, usually I keep my Bible, notebook and pen near me earlier days. Nowadays, one mobile and Bible is there in mobile. Now, what I do once if I get up early morning, the first thing what I do is I read Bible. Maximum 15 minutes, not more than that. Why it is early morning when I get up? Early morning means it's not uh, uh, 4 o'clock or 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock. When I get up, that can be 9 o'clock also sometimes. It's according to how I went to bed. If it is too late, then I will get up too late. So it can be 10 morning also, 12 noon also. But when I get up, first thing what I will do is I read Bible. Why it is for early morning? I will read few quotations from Bible to understand. The first thing, Psalms 143 verses 8. We read like this. Let me hear in the morning of your steadfast love. So always Psalms, you know, he tried to listen the steadfast love of God in the morning. And we read Psalms chapter 5 verses 3 like this. O oh Lord, in the morning you hear my voice. Sam says that in the morning you also hear my voice. So Sam's hear God's voice and God hear Sam's voice. And we're in Ezekiel chapter 12 verses 8. In the morning the Lord of the Lord, came, the word of the Lord came to me. So Ezekiel says in the morning the word of God came to me. So usually God speaks to you in the morning and God listens your voice in the morning according to Bible. It doesn't mean that this is the only way. There was a prophets who prayed three times a day, five times in a day and seven times in a day. And Jesus, you know, he prayed early morning also and throughout the day also, whole night also in him. So it doesn't mean that this is the only time. But this is a way where you can memorize some written word of God. You know, you can write it on your heart if you use this method. An early morning, you open your Bible and read only 15 minutes, not more than that. Once if you read that 15 minute word, you must meditate five points. After reading that, you must ask five questions to you. The first thing after reading that 15 minute portion, you must ask, did God reveal any of my sin in today's reading? You know, when you read the word of God, sometimes you will see some of your sins. So suppose if you have seen that sin of yours, you know what I do? I immediately copy that word which reveals or highlights any of my sin, my pride or jealous or anything. You know, I copy that in my note, in my note, in my mobile with the date and time, because I know that today God spoke to me through this word. And automatically within 24 hours, I'll be keeping myself away from some sinning definitely then by the time I will memorize this word too. So the first question, did God ask me to do, sorry, did God reveal me any of my sin in today's reading? The second question you must ask, did God reveal me or did God ask me to do something good for others? When you read some portion in Bible, you will see how the prophets or the disciples or the believers helping others. So if you get any portion of that kind, like Good Samaritan or anything, you must remember that God is asking you to do something good that day. So you must go outside and help someone somewhere, you know, and that word also will be memorized automatically. If you follow that word, if you if that word becomes flesh in your life. And the third question you must ask is, is there any promise which God is giving me in this reading? You know, sometimes when you listen to the word of God, you can see the promise which God gives you that I will make you a nation or I will bless you with finance. I will heal you or, uh, you know, I will give you good life partner. You know, there are a lot of promises in Bible. 
So if any of the promises comes to you, try to memorize that. And that also you copy and paste in your note uh, with the date and time. So within 24 hours, if you recite that promise and if you're happy with that promise, you know, you will memorize that. Huh? And then the uh, fourth thing you must ask, did God give me any warning in today's reading? You know, when you read Old Testament and prophet story, etc., you may see the mystic, not the mystic, the dangerous situation, how they travel in their life. Like, for example, like David or Solomon, you know, when they when you read, you know, some of the ways which they travel, it was very dangerous road. So God is giving you a warning in your way. Also, there are someone or something is wrong going to happen. So you will be very alert that day. Nobody can cheat you. Otherwise, people will cheat you because already God, God give you the warning. You know, whenever you get the warning portion from the Bible, you must be very alert that day because something, you know, the Satan is already prepared to attack you and God informs you in the morning today, be careful. And the fifth thing you must meditate like, did God reveal any of his miracle or did God reveal any privileges which I received through Christ? You see, sometimes you see the a lot of portion in Bible which says how lucky you are because you received Christ. And Christ, how he forgives you and how he delivers you. And some portion you see that how great our God is, how he created the mountain, sky, earth, and you know, all galaxies and animals, sea and human beings. And you know, he reveals his power and he reveals the power of his word too. So you please read only 15 minutes a day. And sometimes the devil is very cunning. He will ask you, no, what, 15 minutes today, you are free. You read half an hour or one hour or two hours. And you may read the entire gospel of Matthew within half an hour or one hour, but nothing will be in your mind. This is a trick of Satan. So after 15 minutes, if you, if you feel that you have time and you want to read more, read the same portion again. Again, if Satan inspires you, read little more, read the same portion again until you memorize that portion. So never... I'll never get stuck with the satanic to read the entire Bible completely within a day. It's impossible and you don't try for that. The best way is 15 minutes a day and five questions. Total will be 20 minutes, not more than that. And if you have enough other time, don't read these portions. What I mean by these portions, when you read the Bible, this is the best way to read Bible. Please understand. The first thing you begin with Mark. After finishing Mark, Luke then John and then you come back to Matthew from Matthew till Revelation don't read Revelation till Titus you come only 15 minutes so after 15 minutes of reading you just mark the portion where you stopped reading next day the balance and the five questions and again the third day the balance and the five questions once if you finish the New Testament like this then go to Psalms and come back to Malachi Psalms till Malachi and then after finishing that, go to Genesis until Psalms. Suppose if you begin with Genesis, definitely by Exodus, you will stop. So it is better to read this way, though. So you will understand the Bible very well. And every day ask these five questions. And if anyone strikes you, if anyone is there, you will memorize that. You don't need to strain yourself because you know that this morning God spoke to me. And then what all things God speaks, if it is good for you and if you can, please write down in a note in your mobile or in your notebook. Why? Because that will give you a lot of insight after 365 days. After a year, you will say this method saved me a lot from my dangerous situation. And this method blessed me a lot in my life. May almighty God bless you. And I want to tell you, my brothers, only listening is not enough. Sharing is caring. So please share this talk to your friends. Let them also know this method, how to memorize the word of God easily. Peace be with you.